Whether the attacker is barehanded or armed with choking materials, the choke is an effective technique that can be quickly applied from the rear or front in the standing or ground positions. When silence of attack is essential, ordinary choking implements are useful. Here we see a garrote, a belt, shoelaces, a tie, and socks. Where the choking implements or hand choking technique is used, the principles are the same. To apply the rear collar cross choke, the thrower followed his rear grasping action by off-balancing his opponent into a sitting position. The thrower's hand movement brings pressure against the opponent's windpipe and carotid as his weight is pushed against his head. He uses the opponent's upraised arm to bring additional pressure to bear against the side of his neck. When the two men are grappling, the thrower can apply a rear collar cross choke from the top side position. While controlling the opponent with a leg body scissors, he improves the collar choke by advancing the grasp on the other's collar and continues hand, leg and body movement to complete the choking pressure. One of the most practical and effective of the choke techniques is the rear forearm choke which is easily applied from any rear, frontal, or ground position. In this instance, the thrower fails to properly break his opponent's balance and is thrown to the mat. Hand pressure against the opponent's back and against his windpipe is used to break his balance. And to increase the pressure, he pulls him into a sitting position and applies hand, head, and shoulder pressure against the opponent's head and neck. When simple hand pressure won't break the opponent's balance, the thrower drives his right foot against the back of the other's left knee and brings him into better position to improve the choking action. In this case, the attacker, thrown to the ground, makes the error of turning his back to the thrower, who instantly applies a strong rear forearm choke. The thrower shifts his hands to improve the choke. He applies increased pressure against the attacker's head, windpipe, and carotid artery. In wrestling without jackets, the thrower spins his opponent into position for a leg stretcher and rear forearm choke. Coordinated use of hands, legs, and body increase pressure on the choke. <laughs>